My name is Achi Ojani Anai, and I'm the County Minister in Kisumu in charge of tourism, culture, and sports. I'm also the national chairperson for the 47 tourism ministers um, reporting into CS Balala's office, the head of tourism in Kenya. The COVID-19 pandemic obviously paralyzed tourism, uh, not just in Kenya, but across the world. Why? Because it prevented people from meeting and mixing, whether for leisure or for business. So once the president of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, closed the country in mid-March, all the hotels immediately had to come to a standstill. As a sector, we had to go back down on our hunches and figure out what do we want Kenya to look like um, as we prepare, as we wait for the COVID pandemic to, to do what it's doing. We decided that the focus will be domestic tourism. We are opening Kenya up to Kenyans to come and enjoy their own country. And already that has kicked off very well. We're seeing movement of uh, domestic travelers, whether solo traveling or as families, into open spaces. We see that immediately as the first place people want to go, having been at home for so long. We're feeling a lot more confident. Just this last weekend, um, on the 8th and the 9th of August, uh, CS Balala and the entire tourism leadership was at the Mara, together with Eliud Kipchoge, um, showing, leading from the front, showing Kenya that tourism is open. The hotels have been fantastic, the tour companies have been fantastic. Their rates are lower. And I'd encourage anybody who's been feeling, oh, maybe I want to try uh, going to this part of the country to give it a shot. To be uh, safe, make sure that you're traveling with masks at all time. Make sure you have a small sanitizer for yourself. But all establishments, all airports, they all have what you need to feel reassured that Kenya has taken this very seriously. Um, I want to go further to talk about um, conferencing because that's a key component of the tourism sector for Kenya. Now, obviously, all of us have gone into uh, digital conferencing, digital events, even festivals are now being held online. This is what the situation is now. We don't know what it will look like in months or years to come. But we imagine that humanity will want to meet again face to face. But in the meantime, we are working hard. For example, in Kisumu County, we have a huge international conference coming up at the back end of next year in November. It is the AfroCities conference. So we're planning that conference as if everything is fine. We're making sure that that experience for all our visitors will be an excellent experience. We're also taking on board the fact that the IT world is now fully alive and well in every corporation, every individual. So we will also make sure that there's a component where um, the conference is run digitally, online, and people can participate from all over the world on a wider forum. But the visitors, the main core visitors who come in for that conference um, will also be very welcomed into the region.